Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are going to be looking at my number one pick for the top five blues players. We're going to look at Rory Gallagher, the Irish powerhouse. This is Bad Penny, it's a song I love. I've managed to find a version, a live version I haven't heard before, uh, 1982's Rock Palast. Uh, this album was from his 1979 album Top Priority. It's one of my favourite Gallagher tracks. It's not too overblown, it's not too flashy, it's just the perfect amalgamation of what I think he's one of the best blues, blues guitar players. Um, he's got his classic strap, he's the only seen him playing his classic strap. It's got a beautiful little lick, uh, it's really delicate. <laughs> But yeah, fantastic track this one. Um, Rory Gallagher, any live track you look at Rory Gallagher, you're going to like it. If you're into your blues, um, what I like about generally most of his performances is the passion he puts in. You can see the sweat just dripping for him. His eyes are shut, he's going for it, and he's literally living his dream. To me, he is the my he's my blues icon. He's the best blues player of all time. Um, we're going to get into this, and I think you'll see why I put him as number one. This one you might like, this one's called Bad Penny. Nice little sort of basic rig, just three of them. You gotta look at that strap. That strap is beaten to death. He used that strap and pretty much that only. And um, there's been a few since he died. There's been a few players that have been able to play that guitar live. Uh, I know Joe Bonamassa has a couple of times, and a Bernie Marsden from White Snake has as well. It really is a very very famous strat and he wasn't into flashiness he wasn't into you know having you know, huge amounts of money or anything like that it was just all about the rock and blues and you can see it there he's got his check shirt on which is a bit of a signature for him hair whatever looks whatever he's obviously had a few drinks like he normally would and then he just gets out there and belts it the sound from the guitar is well it's clearly you're in my sights there's a mist on my legs help me Sorry, four of them didn't see the keyboard player. There's the passion, eyes shut, giving it the big one. 
it's not he, he's not overly quick he can be when he wants to be but he just for me he just hits you right there you know, I feel something every time I hear him play and the sound it's a very classic Strat sound he's on the bridge pickup and that gives it that very sort of that high gain almost sort of whiny sound which fits perfectly contrast to how a lot of other players play will play will be playing on the neck pickup he mainly plays on the bridge pickup which gives him that that very specific sound no huge effects in nothing just him and a beaten ass strap. Oh, So now it's a really funky drum beat. That bass player, he's living his dream, I tell you. Loved it. That is a when it, when he plays live, when you get great guitar stuff like that, you're you know from anyone from Rory Gallagher to even like your Slashes or your um, your, your Blackmores, Ray Vaughan's, all those all those guys, all those monsters, they always improvise. Well, there's not what I say improvise. There's sections that they'll improvise, so every night will sound slightly differently, um, and that's what I love about players like this. They get in the moment. They've they've got their they've got their schedule. They know what they're playing. They know what key they're in. They know the licks. They know the riffs. But in and around that, they'll make something different. You saw that there with a lovely little breakdown, and um, you could see the passion in his eyes. I mean, for me, Rory Gallagher. There you go. I, I was saying first or second when I was talking about my top five blues players of all time. I, I don't know. I said that I could switch the first and second around, but no, nah, it's Rory Gallagher all day for me, all day long. And that wasn't one of his flashier pieces. Um, you know, if you listen to Shadow Play, um, there's a couple of live versions of Shadow Play that I think really are, yeah, probably probably some of the best guitar I ever heard. Shadow Play, I think it's a stage struck. That is something to behold. I tell you, a um, bit too long to get into on a reaction video. Looking at it, but I can't react to it because I've already seen it a billion times. You know, Rory Gallagher's um, back catalogue. Uh, pretty well all the way through not some some of his later stuff not too familiar with but I, I, from sort of like the, the mid 70s you know Irish tour 74 all the way through to you know this that's my bag what a great version not seen that one before well download the rest of the rock palace rock palace rock palace 
don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, 1982, Rory Gallagher, Rock Palast, the Irish powerhouse doing what he does best, and that is giving it the big one on his strap. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, any comments you've got about Rory Gallagher, drop it in the comment section below, and we'll have a little chat and see what you think. Um, if there's other Rory Gallagher tracks you think I'd like, although I don't think you'll pick one I haven't seen. A live track, yes, I haven't listened to a lot of his live stuff, most of the album tracks and just the, the two, sort of uh, Stage Struck and Irish Tour 74, um, I hold quite dear in my heart, which one of them will be on a top five live albums, I'm sure will be coming out soon. So thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.